So if you have a train XB1000 model, three ton unit like this, um, and it's built, it was built in 1999 or somewhere around here. Um, basically, first step is there are um, 5 sixteenths nut driver screws that you need to remove. They go all around here to remove the top cover. They've already been removed from the last time we took this off and we just kind of left it off for the time being but um, just for you know demos just for uh, to show you that's what you gotta do so alright move before you do anything to your AC always be sure that all power supply is disconnected from the unit um, either unplug the fuse just pull it out of the box like that or plug it, you can just uh, put it in the off position so no power goes to the unit. Okay, so I'm just gonna lift this cover off and it just could just probably pull up on the grill here. And it should pop up. So be careful, you don't cut yourself. And be mindful of the wires that that uh, come from the motor here, I'll put, make sure they don't get stretched too far, just set that aside, and okay. Okay, so on the side here, the service panel, as they call it, there are two 5 16 screws, the same as the ones we took off the top cover, two 5 16 screws that need to be removed in order to gain access to the inside here, so. Make sure you have a place to put these screws in here so they don't get lost. Um, that metal dish here, I'll go get that. The other side here. Hopefully you can see this. That just unscrews like that. front panel can be removed. Okay, this is your capacitor. It's a dual round. and your start switch, your contactors. So there are gonna be three wires that connect to the motor that we're gonna to have to disconnect. And that would be the purple, the brown, and the black. So these just pull off. And okay. So now the motor and fan are free from the rest of the unit, so we'll just uh, stand this on its side real quick. And there's this cover that needs to come off. That pulls right off very easily. Um, and there are four, get up close here, four nuts that secure the motor that need to be removed. And that comes off by using that comes off by using a an 11 30 second socket so just use your regular nut driver and these nuts should just screw, unscrew right off and make sure you secure the motor firmly when you take them off because the motor is heavy I need the dish nearby. I'll just edit. it. Okay, make sure we know the difference. These. Okay. 
Okay, now this last nut here, you have to be very careful when you unscrew this because at that point, that's when the motor will be all free. Except you just gotta fish out the wires from the tube there. Now, your old motor. All right, now we have the two motors beside each other. Now, the way this blade comes off is, you see the set screw right here. This is just a square headed screw. And uh, at first this was locked on there, but so I had to take a crescent wrench and just kind of knock it loose a little bit. Um, probably because due to the winter, that's, it probably froze up and uh, locked it up, but I just took a wrench and knocked it loose and now at this point I can just hand loosen it and it comes off. So that should just unscrew and this should just there we go. See it just lifts off right like that. Be careful you don't damage the bearing on the motor by the way. should just pull up like that there we go just needed to be straight so now I guess we'll just transfer this um, and it is kind of dirty inside here so but uh, I'll just transfer this to the new one so got to align this uh, shaft up here there's a flat side where this uh, screw hole will line up so Got to make sure you get that lined up with that. So, that should just set on there. And, let's see. Make sure that's flush on the shaft. So this should just screw on now. Just tighten this up with the wrench, I guess. Yeah, that should be good enough. Okay, so the new motor is ready to be installed onto the grill. Alright, always remember that uh, when you go to put the motor back in, always remember to remove these nuts before doing so because they have to go on the other side of the grill. So just loosen them one at a time. Just be careful. Scratch the paint. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. The motor, the motor is ready to be mounted into the top grill and cover. But uh, first we're going to fish these wires in through this little tube over here. Just fish them through until they come out the other end. Pull them out like that. Make sure that the part where the wires come out right here, make sure that's lined up with the tube. Line the legs of the motor up with the holes in the grate, grate, or cover, or whatever, which they are. So, okay. Let's 
pull the wires through. And all right, so now we gotta turn this over and reinstall the nuts. Put the new ones on. So this has gotta be turned over here. Hold the motor so it doesn't fall out. Make sure you get a good hold on it. Okay. So first just uh, screw the nuts on there so they're so they're hand tight. Can you get a close up? I'm started. Oops. Make sure you don't cross thread them. Okay, and just screw them on with the Nut driver. Okay, the motor is installed. So let's just Real quick, I just want to test this here. It's actually quiet. So it's and it spins pretty freely. Not bad. When putting the top cover back on, just be mindful of the wires there. There's that cutout where they will go. Make sure they fit in there before you reattach that. So, okay, when so for reattaching these wires, the violet one or the purple one goes on the common terminals. Just be careful you don't touch the capacitor terminals because this is not discharged wasn't fully sure about doing that from the other wires being there. The black goes here in this terminal. Make sure that gets a nice tight fit there. And the brown wire goes on the fan terminal back here. That should make a nice good connection. And, okay, so the wires are reattached. Okay, so that's pretty much it of uh, really repairing this. Now all you gotta do is just install the covers back on. Probably just gonna skip that because it's pretty much the same process as when you took it off. So uh, there's really no need for me to show you. So I'll just uh, come back once I have this all together. Okay, and it's back together. Now for the testing, the moment of truth. Let's hope this is it. If it works, great. If not, well, who knows what to do next. So just flip this around. Nothing so far. Okay, go ahead and hit the thermostat and we'll see if this works. Awesome! Yes! All right! Love that kind, it's working. And it's spinning at its full speed, so... Yep, it's blowing air out here, so...
It's working. Awesome. We did good, guys. We did good. So, I guess we were right. It was the fan motor, just uh, shorted internally. Here's the old one here. You can tell by the rust and the noise it makes. So, a job well done, guys. Oh, yeah. That happened to there, so. <laughs> but, awesome, we got it fixed. All right. that up and it shut off now so all right so it's working now oh she's on the phone now <laughs> but it's working now so awesome we did good guys we did good so thank you so much for watching Hope this uh, kind of helped you out if you were having the same problem with your unit. So take care and I'll catch you later.